Alright guys, what up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use these launch pad things that I've been making for the BO3 mod tools. And how to just, like set them up in Radiant and whatnot. Alright, so basically what you want to do is download this. It'll be in the description. And then I want to open up Radiant, open up your map. And first thing you want to do is add a script structure. So you can go that, do that by going to Entity Browser. Uh, script instruct you can drag that on there <laughs> alright and we're going to name this go to entity info give the target name pad 2a since I already have pad 1 over here this will be pad 2a so we copy this and name that so this will be like our starting point that will be our ending point where we end up so we'll name that B. And you can make it bi-directional or just one way. Like it works. I'll show you how to do both of them. And you could even make it so you could have one launch pad so, and, um, and multiple destinations. And it'll, it'll pick a random one. But I, I don't really like that so I didn't include it in the script. But if you guys want it then I can. But yeah. Alright so anyways. Then you want to go to your starting one again. Whatever you named it. Go to add KVP, give it target, and then uh, our destination is pad 2B. So you, boom. Now you see it draws a line to it, and that's how you know it worked. And same with this, you wanted to have it going both ways. Add a KVP, target, pad 1A, since that's, oh whoops, pad 2 I mean. So it goes both ways. This targets that, this one targets this one. <laughs> Pretty easy. And you could add a model if you want. It doesn't matter. You could add an effect or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll just—I guess I'll do an effect for now, whatever. And we'll just freaking go on top of this building right here. If I can find it. There it is. All right. And put it right there, a little bit under. Actually not even under you know let's keep it on top all right so what was that our, that our end point it doesn't really matter which one's which but okay yeah so that's our end point <coughs> all right well i guess i'll throw in a model for this um i'll just use a uh oh, screw it. i'll just use this or actually i could use ah oh, screw it not gonna waste time doing that. This right here. So much pad. Alright. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. That's there. Hide this real quick. That looks good. Center this up. Okay. So now that's set up and now you need to add the trigger. Uh this could be a trigger radius if you want I mean so you just walk into somewhere and it launches you but for this we'll just use a trigger use so make it like this whoops if I could freaking do this I just want to make it about oh what actually I gotta make it a trigger use I'm just gonna make it like about the size doesn't really matter I usually go a little bit in like that. Alright. There. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, so that's our trigger, so we could actually use it. Now, what you want to do with this, you want to go to Entity Info, you want to give it the target name ZM Launch Pad. Alright. Then add the KVP. We're going to add another target. And this one is going to target the trigger, or the script that struck that's right underneath it. So this one is t pad 2a so for target pad 2a all right and then now it's also cost money so we could do cost and we'll do 500 there so now it actually costs money to do this or actually no wait i did not that was for something else i was making Ignore that part. But 
I probably will end up making it cost money, but I'll add a ch I'll, yeah, I'll make it so it can cost money or not. It doesn't really matter. But for this one, it'll just be free. So now we should go from there up to the building. Let's do that. Compile it. And after this, after it's done compiling, I'll just show you how to do a back and forth. It's the same thing. You literally just add a trigger script or a trigger used on top of that one and target it. It's really easy. Okay, wait for this to link. <coughs> also, some uh, some things you could do in here is if you add a script string, you can do arc height and what this does is it will right now what it does is it gets a, the height between the two dis the two spots and it multiplies it by 2.4 2. point something I forget what I used yeah 2.4 and uh, well, let me pause this and basically if it's less than 400 then it'll like it basically just does 400 times 2 but at 2.4 but if you do the arc override, you could make it arc tile however high you want. So if you want to just go like right to here, you just figure out whatever Z value this is. And then in here you do arc height, whatever that, whatever the Z, whatever, however high you want to end up being in your arc. I can show you that too, but okay, so right here, let me turn on God mode. <clears throat> okay, so we're here. That was pretty slow, but <laughs> it's usually not used for that short of distances, but just for this example. Hey, I can show you this one. This one's all the way up to there. You see how it says arc override? I can, uh, because without the arc override right now, I would go out of the skybox and kill myself. So, yeah. And that's how you do that. I'll show you it again with this one. Also, I don't know why it does that. Why it it makes another body there? Whenever I doesn't really make much sense, but I'll have to figure that out. Okay, so now we can close this. <coughs> All right, so let's say we want to we'll arc up this high, I guess, or we'll just let's see. Uh, we'll arc up to here so 798 let's call it 800 and we're gonna go back to here I'm gonna go arc height 800 so now instead of just going however high it went it'll go it'll arc you up to 800 and then back down to the to there and then we'll also make it so you can go back so what you want to do is just come up to here uh, top view all right, we'll add a script you or a trigger use. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna repeat what we did on the other one. ZM launch pad target uh pad to B. All right, and we'll also do arc height again on this one this one will be higher so we'll do height oh, we'll make it pretty noticeable we'll do 1300 so you'll see the difference in arcs in the heights on here alrighty then I won't even bother with that alright there save that build it and we wait. Well, that was freaking quick. Also, I will be releasing this turret here soon. It works for the most part, but there's just some things I want to fix up that I don't like about it, but it works, basically. I don't know if it's too OP or not, but... I'll probably just show it and I'll let you guys tell me if it's like 
good or not because right now it's like it ba it kills it in like two bursts it goes in two bursts freaking zero the scrub god dang it oh whatever okay but yeah, I'll just show you guys here almost forgot the most important part god mode okay so this one we set the arc height to 800 so see how I got us up to 800 right there now this one we set to 1300 we go way up there so this is for like it'll just be for the looks I guess if you want it to it also makes it faster I guess because it's got to do a, a faster or a, a higher loop but yeah, here I'll show you guys uh, the turret might as well if I'm already making this freaking video I'm not gonna have to make I don't wanna have to make two Now, also, if there's anything you guys want me to make, then just tell me. Like, I'm I'm down to make it. I'm actually I'm working. I'm gonna work on the uh, same thing from this, but it's from some BO2 map. It's like a, a sniper tower. I'm gonna make that, and the flinger from Call of the Dead from BO1. I gotta fix that too. All right, let's get some zombies over here. So right now it lasts for two minutes, and that was just for testing purposes because two minutes is actually very long. But here. I should add some effects to it, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Oh, I got some bugs, obviously, right here. I don't know what's up with this, but sometimes it sees them, sometimes it doesn't. It's weird. Okay, so that's basically how you use the jump pads. And if I got too off topic, then you can just go back into the... Uh, See, like it's just shooting that shooting through, through the walls or actually shooting that one but yeah it looks like that and every time you hear a burst it takes two bursts to kill the zombies because it's damage is just it's health divided by two so if, if you do that twice then it kills them which should be changed I don't really know how to make it though so like, I don't know how the BO1 turret was but it's looking alright. And when it's done, it like goes back into sleep mode, I guess. said before if you guys got lost because I freaking got so off topic and just go back I explained it eventually and also like before me being make anything I'll be freaking down to do that I'm bored right now that's why I'm doing this <laughs> anyways all right thank you for watching peace